Okay, good here. Let's say you've got a nice new router for your ADSL connection. This is a nice little wireless ADSL router. You can see some lights, I don't know if you can see them flashing now, but that doesn't give you much details. You can log into the web interface, but I like to get into the nitty gritty and see why it does things. So let's hook up a serial interface. So first we open up the router. I've already gone to the liberty of undoing the screws and undoing all the clips. Here is the board with the flashing LEDs. Let's take it out. So here we've got the router board with its main processor, Ethernet, ADSL and USB ports. We are interested in the serial interface, which is up over here, the UART. That's that 4-pin connector that you can see over there. Where's my screwdriver there? Okay, I don't know if you can see it too well. But you've got... That'll probably be a, a volt, supply volt. That'll probably be a supply voltage over there. That you can see is grounded to the ground plane. So that'll be your ground pin. And you've got two data pins. But you can see those data pins are missing resistors. Linking them. Right. to the processor. So even if we hook up an interface onto those pins, we're not going to get anything until we bridge out those resistors that are missing there. Of course, to do that we need a soldering iron, so I'm going to try this new, brand new, still in the box, temperature controlled solder station. And let's see what this is. That is your soldering iron stand or holder. Of course, this isn't a hacko or any of the fancy ones, it's just a little cheapy one with a little sponge glued in there. The soldering thing. And there is the temperature control and the power switch. And I don't know if you can see, but in there there's actually an earth wire connected onto the top. South African plug. So let's plug it in. There we There's my multi plug, so let's pull that out and let's plug in the soldering station. If it goes boom. Well, it didn't go bang yet. Let's switch it on. Getting hot. Not getting hot. Okay, it's been about four minutes and we got some smoke there from the solder on the tip. So let me just turn these wires and then we'll get to doing the bridges on the board. Okay, let's unplug. Pong. Just note, um, opening, your, opening your router, or <laughs> even worse, soldering on it does void the warranty. So don't do it. That one's bridged. So now, as you can see, I have I bridged those resistors out. Now I'm going to put jumper wires into those three pads. The ground pad, the two data pads that we saw go down to the processor. I'm not going to worry about that, possibly the power pad, because I'm already getting power for my converter from my USB port on my laptop. This is a UART output, and your laptop or computer is a serial RS-232. So you will need a converter, for example, a Max 232 chip. I've made up a board earlier with that chip, so that's not a problem for me. Okay, let's solder the jumpers on.
Okay, so I have got those three wires, the ground and the two data in, data out. We'll receive and transmit connected. So now, now if you look over here, I've got a piece of Verif board with a Max 232 chip on. Picking up power from the USB port over there. That converts the voltage levels and the polarities and everything to enable your RS-232 to talk to the UART in the processor. So let's hook it up, start it up and see what it says. Don't look at my password. Okay, now I'm using Hyper Terminal on the laptop. So, okay, so we just create a connection test using COM1, that's fine. Now I've read up that these routers require 115, 200, 891, and no flow control and then we plug in the power and plug it in and there we go it is booting Okay, so that is how you get into the serial interface of one of these, these Technicolor routers. Just remember, doing anything that you've seen in this video will violate the warranty on your router. In one of my later videos, we'll be checking out this. Electrically heated desoldering pump, or desoldering tool. You just plug it in, it heats up the tip, and you push the plunger down. So, you'll see how well that works. Oh, thanks for watching my video. Good night.